Tonight I'm going to be cooking dinner out of the River Cottage Veg Everyday Book and I'm going to be cooking a pinto bean chilli so hopefully it will look something like this when we're finished um, this is stuff we're sort of having to use it up a couple of days of all the stuff that's in the fridge so I've managed to get the bits together for this recipe so I've got some chopped tomatoes, garlic, pinto beans, onions Got our cumin, ground cumin, cayenne pepper, ground allspice. Um, I've got red pepper, I've got half a half orange one as well, so I'll chop that in. Bourgettes, um, tomato puree, and some coriander. So that's pretty much the ingredients. So um, I'm gonna rock with that. And yeah, we'll start cooking. We've got some rice left over from a meal yesterday, so we're gonna have that with it to serve it. The onions are in, cooking away. So while they um, start to soften a little bit, I'm going to move on to the next bit. I'm going to start chopping up the uh, courgettes and the peppers um, and get them ready to go in after the um, spices. First I'm going to put in a teaspoon of this garlic paste that we use. Two yeah. teaspoons of cumin, cayenne pepper. The last spice is the allspice. Let's go in its courgettes once the spices have fried for a minute or so. is two tablespoons of tomato puree followed by the uh, chopped tomatoes and the pinto beans and last to go in is 200 millilitres of water and then it will simmer for 30 minutes. 